All right, which is I think I got it. Please let me know if I, in fact, got it or don't got it or I'm going to pull all of my hairs out. Yay? Is it yay? I am a genius, Moose. I am a genius. I wonder if, like, YouTube got mad at me for playing this song. Okay, I'm gonna have to play less than 10 uh, seconds or I get in trouble. Anyways. So glad it works. I brought the blue Yeti over here from our old filming area, which reminds me I need to check on how my laptop is doing with Diane. My resin hasn't turned to a mm, paperweight yet. So um, let's get our Hocus Pocus on tonight, which is... Right. Um, of course, my this isn't working. Already know how to fix that. There we go. Ta da! Not frozen and e-science is in the building. So, um, this color is called Clementine or something like that. It's from Loop Spray Paint. It's actually an awesome, like, wine stain something. Um, so let's make some colors. I'm going to be doing a three-part series of this today, tomorrow, and the next day of the Ladies of Hocus Pocus. If you don't know who Hocus Pocus is, I don't know what to tell you. It's a great movie. Just at least Google it for me. Um, I also... Also, I have hardwired this computer with an ethernet cable from across the whole house so hopefully it won't drop it like an hour out I had did you guys know that some computers don't have an ethernet cable plug outlet I didn't know who who knew I didn't know but I got an adapter and I made it do I e-scienced the poop out of it and we'll see if it works today. So, the first of my Sanderson sisters pieces is purple, gold, and pink. Do you guys know which one that is? I didn't know that some of them don't come with an ethernet. I'm old school. I had like the first generation Mac in my house growing up. I had dial up. And I didn't know, had no idea. That's perfect, Susan. That's amazing. Ocean, I wanna know like all the dish about what you guys were talking about the other night that everybody was congratulating you on and stuff, but I didn't, I couldn't read it and hear about it. So I need to know all the dish. All right, so um, for tonight's pieces, uh, 
I'm going to do, well, I'm only doing one tonight and also probably coasters. But do you guys know the name of this one that I'm doing? No, it's not Midler's character. It is um, Sarah, Jessica, Sarah Jessica Parker's character. Because she's a blonde one. I'm not using yellow. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that to myself or any of y'all. Meh. So the plan tonight is um, to do this. And then tomorrow I'm going to do Winnie. And then the next night I'm going to do um, Mary. Now I'm probably going to save Winnie for the last night. Probably. Sarah Sanderson. Thank you very much. Contact me for your prize. Um, so for the purple, I've been just into this royal purple from Artisu lately. I'm sorry I don't have any more in stock. The ones that I had left over have already been um, taken, but I'll try to get some more from Artisu if you guys are interested in them. If not, cool, cool, cool. Tight, tight, tight. Right, Clara? I love all of the sayings of all of the time from the Sanderson sisters and Hocus Pocus. In fact, I don't even watch the whole beginning of it until like the witches turn up. I really don't care about any of like the pre-story. Not even a little bit. Hey. Dead man. <laughs> not hey, someone's here. Not hey, not hey that. Hey. Enough. Not that hey. Just hey to people online. I'm, I can't even say hi to you guys anymore because the boys are gonna lose it. Linda, I think you are the last to grab. I mean, I think you were the one that grabbed my last um, royal. I think I might have it in paste still. P.S. It's very dangerous to mix your paint on your board because spilling is inevitable. So I don't recommend. Should I do black or white for this? color palette. I feel like black is more Halloween-y, but I also feel like it's already a darker palette, but I don't know. What do y'all think? I'm trying to mix this bright gold from Just Resin Without Poofing it everywhere. Black, black, black. Could do a bit of both. Black, black, black. Tiny bit of white. See, I was thinking that too. Right, fine. Talk me into it. Boom. Love having mini cups. We were approached by a company that does... Y'all were here the other night. Um... They do, see how not a lot that is, y'all? Not a lot. They do, um, dang it. I keep losing my train of thought. Silicone cups. And they were like, we would love for you to try them. Do you guys, are you guys still interested in silicone cups? I never really had much use. Um, because they kept attracting every bit of hair in the house. Then again, they were great for attracting all of the hair in the house. I remember that, Orlinda. Use silicone cups every time. You don't have any issues with them attracting dust and hair and lint and stuff? Yeah, that could 100% plausible that it, that's only me that that happens to. Also, I've been listening to remixes of all of the Hocus Pocus songs 
whilst packing for our upcoming trip all day and doing laundry and all the things. Jeff has been such a trooper up at Makers, making sure that while we're out of town for basically two and a half weeks, um, that you guys have all of the things that you need. And he's also working on something brand new that he woke up in the middle of his sleep to tell me about. Coincidentally, the middle of my sleep as well. I told him he should just get a journal. Not really. I'm always interested when he has his new ideas. He's like a mad scientist. Thank you for the um, thumbs, you guys. Whether they are thumbs up or down, I appreciate every single thumb you give me. Or dead man's toe, as it were. I think also I'm going to get a shirt that says grease the pan. nod to my mama because that's what she calls it whenever I'm like okay you got to put a little bit of resin down so that your um, colors move more easily she's like that's called grease in the pan but most of y'all have been fam long enough that you remember that happening live and in living color Diane you know the pom-pom struggle so this color is so beautiful. I feel like I could just put a gold stream, like just ribbon through the middle of this and um, it'd be a finished piece of art. I'm looking for something that attracts money and men. Baby cakes. Are you sure that you want both of those? Maybe just one of those would be awesome. If you have both of those, nothing but trouble. So Susan, it is a little bit extra thick because I, I mixed it right before I started the live feed. Not right before, a little bit before I started the live feed. And then I had uh, 78 technical difficulties before I got to this point. So it is a little bit thick, for sure. For sure. Okay, so let's do Sarah Sanderson proud. Why do I always go with the Pepsi? Blew. Whatever. Oh, I didn't even mix my white up. To be the sugar mama, done with that. Girl, don't ever be the sugar mama. Try not to be a sugar baby. Like, do your best, but you know. If it happens, whatever. Can you guys even see this, like, grapey color? Yes. These colors are pretty true up here. It gets a little dark down here because it auto lightens, but this up here is pretty accurate. Hey, Scarlet. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put, not this, I'm going to put my, <gasps> y'all, it almost got me. This is not a resin shirt. Bob and weave. I don't know why I ever art and not resin clothes. That's why I have so many resin clothes. Do you guys find that? You're a really neat artist until you're arting in something that you shouldn't be arting in. And then um, not so much anymore. Can't be just me. Also, we're working with um, people to make it to Australia again, sometimes sooner than later. I haven't even told Jeff that. Oh, 
I wanted to go paint tonight, but I didn't because of clothes. Never a good excuse. I'm just kidding. Any excuse you have is a good one. Okay, just a little bit of that. Meow. Let's get some paper. I had four guests into the studio today. And three yesterday. Ninety percent are already closed. So I am using a little bit more heat than normal because um, this resin has been sitting out for a minute. Crazy. This white looks like it's reacting as if it has some stone coat in it but it has none. See those little bubbles coming up? That's how I know that, well, there's some too. The viscosity is good for cells. So I have two different super cell agents. I have some white that's been thickening up for a minute and also have a little bit of base coat in there. I mean base tint, I mean base tint. Hi, Leslie. Um, so yeah, we're planning on being back sooner than later. Try to do a multiple of different um, applications in this piece. I don't want it to be solid swipey, but y'all know how I do. Christina wore a paint shirt to work. Did they say anything? It probably didn't matter. When I had a grown-up job, I had to wear suits every day. That was 0% fun. Fairy dust, you are a rebel. Have you seen um, the birdcage? Every time I read the word fairy dust, I think about Robin Williams, who is a genius, in my opinion. BT dubs. Ooh. Jeff should be starting a portrait tomorrow. I'm so excited to watch that process. We will be recording it. Kieran tablets. Yes, I'm not alone. All right, so I'm glad we ended up adding a little bit of white because I really like this pink glow that's coming about because of the um, translucent fluorescent pink going over the white. So I'm gonna add a bit of that to this side as well. And a real quick line of gold. And some of this propel. But not a lot because it's already eating into a lot of the negative space that I wanted to hold on to. There we go. So the pet park that's not far from our place just opened up. 
and the boys have been loving it. Bowie saw his first big boy dog fight the other day though. Scared him just a little bit. In retrospect of that pull, I shouldn't have come out so far this way because now these swipes really have nowhere to go. The struggle. So this paper is actually just a really heavy paper. It's label paper, but um, you could use Uh, parchment paper, freezer paper, wax paper. The kind of paper each individual should use um, depends on how heavy handed you are. The lighter handed you are, the heavier your paper you need, and the heavier handed you are, the lighter the paper you should use. in general. Here in Colorado, we'll be up that way in a few weeks, couple of weeks. It will be class time for Colorado Springs. I think we have a couple of seats left in the class if you haven't registered and are interested. Information's on the website. I feel like I want more of this glowy pink look, but I also feel like that's not very Sanderson-y because they're all relatively dark palettes. Where should we go with this, you guys? I feel like I should tilt it some type of way. How in the world? Did I get a piece of paper in there? going to heat just on this side so I can get these colors flowing. I'm heating up a little bit in front of them as well to make sure that they all flow proper. Hi from Carnarvon. Carnarvon? Carol, I'm real sure that I have messed that whole name up. Look how slow it's sliding. But that's fine. So I'm going to add. colors so that it does some bright awesome things when I tilt it. This technique is called a torch and tilt and it is how I get all of my oceany type cells. So I just want to tilt it back just a little bit to stretch these guys 
So it looks a little webby. And now I'm gonna let that cool for just a little bit before I really continue manipulating it because I heated it so it's thinner. So that part is moving, but if I let it just set just for one minute, just to see how it feels. Um, that area will set up and allow me to move other areas without destroying parts that I like. That's one of the really awesome things about using a thicker or low viscosity resin. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna do one coaster. Thanks, Ocean. That's all I've been doing on coasters now, torch and tilt. Well, should we make it a thing? Make it a technique style, just the torch and tilt? I'm sure I didn't invent it. But I don't mind coining a term for it. The torch and tilt. Thank you, Clara. So before I get going on that, let's check it. All right, it has slowed down. So I can do this next segment. Let that white get a little too thin, so I'm just going to torch that back up. And we'll add more white and fix that in a minute. Whenever we do classes, people are always, not always, but sometimes they're like, I messed up, it's horrible, it's ruined. I'm like, no. Just get to work on it a little bit longer, right? All right. Let's get some torch and tilt on. Make sure y'all can see what I'm doing. Now that looks ghoulish. I think I want to add some more pink to this, but I need to let it set up just a little bit. Still a little thin, but we're going to go for it. the torch just be careful not to over torch your resin because then you could end up in a scorch situation and that's not a good look next the TNT technique boom making waves You were stuck on the bad live. Yeah, I'm going to delete it as soon as this one goes 
active. I have no idea what happened, but now I have the Yeti hooked up over here, and it's, so it's just not a problem. No muss, no fuss. It is a little spider webby, isn't it? Ooh. Almost spilled. This resin's like, lady, you're cutting it close. And I'm like, so? We will be doing videos up at Stone Coat. For sure. If I can get this in the... Camera. Without um, tripping on that piece. Gold kind of dirtied this one up, so we may have to revisit that guy. All right, where are we with this one? This is my favorite Sanderson sister. I can't let Sarah Jessica Parker down. I'm just heating away for this white to stretch so I can thin it out and create all these cells as it's going off the canvas. Just touching it a little bit with the heat as it moves so that I'm getting those dimensional pockets right there. See how it looks like there's like a shadow that's from stretching the cells as they're moving. And also there is a little bit of stone coat on here, so that's helping, I'm sure. I'm gonna stretch them all down this way. And the camera's focusing tonight. Like I've hit the jackpot. Bye, Vamp. I'm gonna make this piece awesome. And she's gonna watch it tomorrow and be like, I mean, I'm so glad I went to bed, but it turned out pretty good. This one's looking a little bit freckly because of that gold. Y'all know the gold always takes over. Should have known. Oh well, I just set that aside. So now we have this happening. And before I go too much further in any one of my art pieces, I always like to just look at it in all different angles to see if it's something I want to leave. Or if I want to continue on manipulating. And aside from this area being a little fuzzy, I don't mind the piece as a whole. I've got really dimensional cells in it. I still have my awesome purple negative space. And the design being Mohawk style is cohesive. So I might leave it 
and just display it as if it were a mohawk. Doris, that's probably what happened, for sure, for sure. Y'all know what I mean? Let's just take a gander down what we've got going on here. That's fun. Uh, this is the area that I'm probably gonna work on. This is the area we just did. It's like cells on top of a smoky background. And since this is Halloween y, I don't mind that at all. And then, of course, the awesome purple that we started with. Um, Leslie, the pink is hot pink from um, just resin. This is the truest color right here. So, yeah, so let's finish up this area right there and then we'll dismiss class for the evening so it seems that the best results that I've enjoyed are the white and pink together on the torch and tilt so we're just going to add a little bit more of that but I'm gonna make these cells more pink. So I put the pink on top since I'm gonna heat in between the pink and the white here. And I'm gonna tilt it and they're gonna roll over each other. And since I'm only hitting the heat on the pink and white area, and it's gonna be rolling over the cooler temperature of this part right here, these two colors are gonna make the cells because that's where the heat's going. It's gonna be thinner than what's on the bottom. Viscosity is gonna change that for the density is going to change, so the weight of this versus this is going to change. Um, also, something else. And I was saying it and I forgot it. Whatever. Here we go. Heat in front. I want to curve it just slightly, so I'm going to heat that right there. And then tilt it back just a little bit. I'm going to touch this with just a little bit of heat to get those cells to pop up a little more. Tilt it back. There we go. There we go, ish. It's still not there. Now that's more in line with the rest of it. So, from the beginning, I hope this showed you guys that your piece is never, quote, ruined. There's never really a piece that you can't work with. It comes down to what are you willing to do to fix it? Can you risk the whole piece not surviving to do one area? For instance, right now, I really wanna pull something through here but I don't know if I should. What do y'all think?
Don't see any dust. Oh, that's right. We're not at my house. Um, it's early in the curing process. Uh, my dust-free zone is wide open. Yeah, I think y'all are right. Just a little teeny tiny baby, baby one. Get up. Nothing major. Nothing crazy. So we'll probably do a dip swipe. We're gonna put a little bit of pink on this. But just a little bit. Get crazy. Um, this is dangerous. Don't heat anything on paper at home. Just gonna heat this area a little bit so that my swipe pulls a little bit easier. In fact, I'm gonna dip it into this gold and white that I have here. So I have kind of like a tie dye -y. tie dye -y. That doesn't make any sense. So I'm gonna pull it little skinny one through here. And I picked up the white and the pink so that it would make sense. I'm going to tilt this back so that it fits the flow of the piece. It's cohesive. And I'm going to heat right here so that this hole kind of melts into the flow of the piece as well. There. I feel better. I'm not going to focus now. Cool. Good talk. So yeah, it's just a wispy ghost-esque pole. You have to be the destroyer in art to do great things. Um, all kinds of facts right there. So happy with this one. Uh, Sarah Sanderson would be proud, I think, I feel, I hope. She is in dust free land. I do have one more coaster to do. And before I do that, I'm gonna turn on puppy cam so you guys can see the madness once we um, try to get going. Which one is this? This is Ethel. Well, apparently this camera is like, nah. Oh well. We'll just do this. This is not an upshirt cam. Just want you guys to see the madness. That's silly because then you can't see the artwork. Duh. All right. Let's get these last coasters going. Sorry about puppy cam. I'll figure out all of the audio visual. Diane, don't beat the D into submission. Y'all read that, but she, she started that. She said it first. So Tracy wants to know what white I used for the torch and tilt. And tonight the white I used was the titanium white 
paste from just resin. Um, I also carry the Snow White from Color Obsession. Very same. Thanks for coming in, Ocean. Thanks. Um, this won't take long. I don't have that much resin left, and it's getting very, very thick. Um, just keep in mind that the thickness of your resin has a lot to do with how well the torch and tilt works. So you really want to have um, what I call a soft peak in your resin and depending on what brand of resin you use is how long you need to let your resin sit and get a little bit thicker. So if you guys can see when I try to like ugh, When I drop this into itself, you can see the shape of the stream of resin for a little while. That's what I consider a soft peak. That and a little bit past that are ideal for where you want to be. It's very slow moving. When you try to trail it, it stays, it doesn't have like drips. I don't know if you can see that. Let me put it on my white arm. There we go. Um, it doesn't drip. It's a solid, slow blob, like um, cold syrup or honey or molasses. So just keep that in mind if you're going to do the torch and tilt. It doesn't work as well with fresh, fresh resin. It will work. doesn't work as well. Hi, Lisa. Just cleaning off my sticks as I go. All right. Let's grease this pan real quick. I've got purple and black on this one. Bows, what do you got? I have no idea what he's gotten into. One thing is for sure, for sure, for sure. He probably shouldn't be in it. But y'all know how Bowie is. He does what he does. Don't ask no questions. Okay. Now let's put some pink down. I know it, Cujo, but just wait. This one, I guess, is going to be a little bit more tie-dyed. Yellow. Said yellow to Jeff, and he was like, what? what? When did you start saying yellow? And I was like, does it matter? Jeff will be clap proud for clean sticks. He will be. I've been doing really well to clean up since this is his airbrush area and he's starting an Audrey portrait. Probably tonight. Um, he's at Makers right now, but I told you all that already. Um, but he's got to get that portrait finished to completion before we leave. So that's exciting. See how I can go through both of these pieces without that white breaking, that's what you're looking for for the torch and tilt. Right then, y'all ready? I have a friend who just got back from Texas when I asked how Texas was, she said it was, ugh, Linda. Lost my mom and my job all in one week. I'm so sorry, Lisa. Please let me know if there's anything we can do. So, I feel so bad. So we're gonna torch and tilt. So we're at a 45 degree angle-ish. And I'm running out of steam in my torch. But I just wanna tilt it until both of the colors that I have selling up go over. And then I can let it come back. 
Um, I'm gonna let that rest for a second and start this one. Where are we gonna go? Let's go this way. I'm gonna heat the whole thing first. Ugh. Please hold, gotta refill. What, Bowie? Bowie's just like a toddler. He'll like throw things under the couch and then bark at me to come get them. I didn't want to hit the black and purple because then that came over into the white and pink, but whatever. What bows? This, see how it's already not really moving anymore? It's kind of what we're looking for. I'm gonna hit the pink and the white, the pink and the white, and let those just work into each other. Back to this one. It's still a little fluid, but that's fine. Also, be careful not to breathe the fumes that come off of this. Very not good for your health. Libby. Okay. Still a little movement. So we're going to pick up this one. It's going to look really fun. I don't know if there's any saving this guy. Kind of got crazy on me. That gold really peppered through it. Yeah, I shouldn't be like torching this close to my face, but I'm holding my breath, I'm being careful. Get one little bit more on here. I love it. So different. Very Halloween-y. Put this one out before anything happens to it. If I can find a room. This one. Need to order another t shirt. I've got some in stock.
digging it and digging it. And now this one looks like a slug blew up. Do you leave those like that to use or do you put on a clear over that while using? Um, I usually don't top coat these just because I haven't had an issue yet. I have never had anyone come back and say that their coasters were faulty. Definitely, if you're concerned about it, you can add a top coat, but it stays pretty durable. Love that. Cool, done with this one. Oh, this guy. Do I have anything left? I have some white. And I have some gold. I think the gold is what the issue was in the first place. So I'm just going to add some white. It's almost at stiff peak. Let's see what we can make happen. Just like this. It's already an improvement. Sandra, that sounds horrific, stepping on a slug barefooted. Um, it starts at two. I have been watching cooking shows. Is it that obvious? It's probably that obvious. Yellow. You already have your schedule for Vegas? I mean, for that far away? I never had my schedule that far in advance and I had a grown up job. Oh, I know it. Um, it's a two hour class. But if um, you can't make it for the whole thing, then I can give you like a crash version of it on another day if that helps. Whatever I can do to make it work for you, I'm down to do it. Those guys have slumped.
Here we go. Yeah, it is at Bronson's place. I think I like this one. It can live. All right then. Where am I? to move the Yeti over here. Oh, really? Yep. No idea, but it's fine now. Everyone's saying hi, B. Hello, everybody. He's busy saying hi to both hands. We'll make it work, Anka. You just let me know what works for you. He's being jelly. Can you hear me now? What are you making? Um, I just got done making Sarah Sanderson of the Sanderson Sisters on Hocus Pocus. It didn't look like you did anything. Did you clean up? I did! Looks like this! You did? Mm -hmm. How does my computer look? <laughs> um, looks amazing. Regular. I didn't break it. What is that? You just put a bunch of rocks in the middle and then poured it? Oh, that was pre-recorded video. I did that purple one that's on the top. Oh, nice. Thanks. You should see it under a light that's gorgeous. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for tuning in to see what I'm up to today, you guys. Tomorrow, I'll be doing the next Sanderson sister. And um, we love you guys so, so much. Owl. It's from Hocus Pocus. Where is it at? It's the purple one. Oh, yeah, I wasn't going to do a whole person. Maybe I'll just do a stencil on it. Who knows? We'll get crazy. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming in and seeing what I'm up to tonight, you guys. We love you all so, so much.
Check us out on all these other social media things. Come here. Um, the boys wanted to say hi. 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 And, yeah. Be kind to one another. You never know what someone may be going through. And we'll see you next time. Same place, same time tomorrow, y'all. Bye. I said bye. Do you say bye with a mouthful?